After seeing the highest number of reported shark attacks in the last five years in 2023, it is, while tragic and unfortunate, not at all surprising that the last couple of weeks have seen another three shark attacks occur in quick succession of one another. Now this first attack, it occurred just days ago, in the clear blue waters near Blacks Point on the Erie Peninsula in South Australia, when 64-year-old experienced surfer and well-respected local teacher Murray Adams faced a terrifying ordeal when he was attacked by a shark on what was meant to be a routine surf. Now the waters around Blacks Point, they're known for their diverse and sometimes dangerous marine life. This includes bronze whalers, short fin makos, the popular hammerhead, and of course the even more popular and much more widely feared, Great White. Despite the presence of such predators, unfortunately, as we've seen in many of our episodes, it is surfers and spear fishermen that are found to be the most common victims of shark attacks. And this of course happened to be the case here, when at 1 p.m. just this past Tuesday, which was January 9th, 2024, Murray and his surf partner Troy had been enjoying an early afternoon surf when a shark, believed to be a great white, abruptly clamped on to the lower half of his body, piercing its serrated teeth into large sections of his upper leg and buttocks. Troy witnessing the horrifying scene as it unfolded. I could see him wave his arms in the air and then start screaming shark, shark, shark and telling me to get out of it. But I think the shark must have bit him, felt the board and then went off after that. Fortunately for Adams, he'd somehow managed to get away from the shark, paddle back to shore, climb a cliff to reach his car parked at a nearby lot, and shockingly, he refused multiple offers from people at the shore for an ambulance. Murray instead decided that he'd drive himself to Elliston Hospital in order to save time, and upon arriving, his condition was reported by doctors to be serious, but stable. So he starts going up and I see this massive teeth marks and blood just coming from his back. And he was determined though, brought under the arm and just started rock climbing up. And Murray said, don't get an ambulance. It'll be quicker if we just drive to the hospital. He would not long after arriving at Elliston Hospital be airlifted to the Royal Adelaide Hospital for further treatment. Now it is worth noting as well that this is the second shark attack in these waters in the last eight months. And in fact, the last one happened to be a local teacher as well. His name was Simon Bacanello, and he was also coincidentally a colleague of Murray's. Tragically, however, Simon was not so fortunate and had not survived his encounter with a great white. Now the second attack, it was fatal. It occurred in Maui just a couple of weeks ago. This happened on what was a serene Saturday morning, and the day was December 30th, 2023, when the peaceful rhythm of Paya Bay in Maui was disrupted by a fatal shark attack. The victim's name would later be revealed as Jason Carter, a 39-year-old surfer from Haiku, and like many others in the water that morning, Jason was focused on his surf, likely unaware of the potential danger lurking just beneath the surface, where a large shark, likely attracted by the movement and presence of these surfers, targeted him. At approximately 11.19 a.m., Maui police were called to the beach area of 93 Hana Highway in Paya following reports of a shark attack, and the situation was very apparently dire given the severity of Jason's injuries, and ocean safety officers, upon reaching him, had to transport him via jet ski to shore, where a frantic scene unfolded as first responders performed life-saving measures. However, despite their best efforts, Jason's injuries were much too severe, and he was immediately transported to Maui Memorial Medical Center for urgent medical care. Not long after being transferred, doctors fought tirelessly to save his life, but unfortunately, the 39-year-old would succumb to his injuries, leaving his loved ones in a state of shock and grief. The dorsal fin was almost as big as his body. The height of it was almost as high as his head sitting on the board. It was hard to hear him, like, screaming. Now this third incident, and what was yet another fatal shark attack, which took place just weeks ago, 22-year-old Victor Alejandro, a native of Moran Carit, was diving for crustaceans in the waters off the coast of Yavaros, a region known for its rich marine biodiversity. Now these waters, part of the Gulf of California, are home to various shark species. This includes great whites and tigers. Now on that Friday, December 29th, Victor's routine dive took a tragic turn around 1 p.m. when an estimated four meter great white shark suddenly clamped down on his leg and proceeded to violently shake its head from side to side. And just a fair warning that this part is extremely disturbing to hear. As it did this, parts of his body began detaching in the process, causing major blood loss. Despite immediate and intense rescue efforts from his fellow fishermen who'd managed to maneuver him onto their boat, they quickly realized the gravity of the situation and proceeded to rush him onto the dock. And unfortunately, 
Upon arrival at the El Tohawi fishing camp, agents of the Watambapo Red Cross would conclude that there was nothing that they could do to save him, and that he was tragically not going to make it. Now like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 2023 was a record year for shark attacks, and we in fact haven't seen such high annual attack numbers in the last 5 years. There were a total of 84 reported shark attacks that occurred in 2023, with 18 of them being fatal, and among these, great white sharks were responsible for 5 fatalities. Now Christian Kemper of TrackingSharks.com did state that this is the highest number of fatalities from shark attacks in two decades, noting that in some instances, the victims were entirely consumed. Now we have covered some of these cases which I will leave for you at the end screen of this video. A lot of them are extremely hard to listen to, and I do point out in these episodes, especially towards the end of the year in 2023, just how much more prevalent shark attacks happen to be, especially towards the end of the year. Now this is also extremely worth noting before ending the video, Kemper identified 5 potential factors contributing to the rise in shark attacks in 2023. These include diminished shark food resources, which seem to be a result of overfishing and pollution. Also increased ocean temperatures, a growing population of great white sharks, as well as an increasing number of people engaging in water activities, and not to mention better reporting methods of these incidents, seem to be the key combination of factors that most likely explains the increased number of reported shark attacks. So taking all this into account, these incidents they serve as reminders as to why entering a shark's territory makes you a part of their natural food chain. So that's why to stay safe, it's crucial to surf wisely and remain vigilant of your surroundings.